Hey guys, I'm Natasha Takahashi, co-founder and chief marketing officer at School of Bots. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to implement a chatbot for your webinar campaign. Let's get into it. So any given webinar is probably gonna have the following steps. We've got our registration page, which I'm gonna write reg. We've got our thank you page. We have typically a countdown page, which if someone gets to the webinar a little bit early, or maybe they click on their join link right from the thank you page, then it might say something like, hey, your webinar is starting in, I don't know, an hour, two hours, right? The next page we have is of course the live webinar. And this is applicable by the way for an evergreen webinar or live. And finally, we've got our replay. Now, after that, typically you're gonna have some sort of follow-up sequence via email, right? Or even SMS if you're already using text reminders for your webinar signup. So let's start at the very beginning, right? On this registration page, the number one goal, your main call to action is register for the webinar, right? And typically we'll see that in three different ways right now. You can either sign up with an email, you can sign up with an email and a phone number or just a phone number, just depending on you know how you're doing it for your business here. Now for one of our clients, Mind Valley, who has over 35 different webinar campaigns that we have tested this for, as well as a lot of our other clients who also run webinars, they typically have one or two products that they are really focusing on with a webinar campaign, this formula I'm about to walk you through is going to be applicable for what we've learned from that whole experience, right? And so all the numbers I'm going to share with you are kind of averages across. They can totally vary depending on your audience, age, you know, what they're used to um, getting from you as well. But hopefully this is all helpful for you so that you can implement something similar and know what to expect as well in terms of conversions and opt-ins. Okay, so now let's jump back to the registration page where, like I mentioned, typically you're capturing one to two different contact methods. On this page, because your number one call to action is to get them to register, and most likely you're doing that through some sort of webinar software, you typically always need their email or a phone number depending on how your software works. I would recommend not adding the chatbot at all on this page because it's gonna distract people from that main call to action, signing up. So I'm gonna add a big X here, say we're not adding the bot on the registration page. The one place where this could work is if you were to split test actually putting this entire process into your bot. So instead of having someone sign up on a landing page, which is what I'm referring to here, you could actually test having someone sign up for the webinar, choosing their date and time inside of a chat box. So that's an option as well, but I'm not gonna go too deep into that. I just wanna talk about overall what this is gonna look like. So now we're gonna move on to the thank you page, where on this page, just on desktop, we're gonna add a little chat widget. Now, typically on desktop, we see a 25 to 40% opt-in rate for this chat widget because that's where it sits at the bottom right corner of the page. And it might say something like click here for your workbook or your reminders. And so this works incredibly well on that page. Now on mobile, what we're gonna do is actually add a button instead. And a pro tip that I'll tell you is for this button, you actually wanna send people to a ref URL, which you can easily look up and just find a little more information about how to create that on a platform like Minichat. And then turn that ref URL into a deep link, which is going to directly send people to their Facebook Messenger app, just in case with certain devices, you know, might try to send them to a web page or something. So this will make sure they go directly into their app and start the experience and conversation with your bot there. Now, the reason we do a chat widget versus a button on desktop, just to let you know, is that we typically see a one to 5% opt-in rate on the button on desktop versus this 25 to 40%, which is a huge difference. And so that's why we just do what works really well, right? And on mobile, also, I wanted to mention, we typically capture also about 25 to 40% of those users. It's a really easy opt-in. And ultimately what we're doing here is sharing a lot of the information on the thank you page, things like here's your workbook, here are your reminders, maybe here's a free gift we're gonna give you. Um, let's get a little bit more information about you or give you some extra content in the meantime while you're waiting for your webinar. Next page is gonna be our countdown. So someone might be on this page for three seconds, someone might be on it for 30 minutes, right? Just totally depends on that person, how on time they are, and also if they you know, can make it to your live webinar. On this page, we also add the chat widget, but this time we put it on mobile and desktop. Even though it's not the best experience on mobile because it does make people log into Facebook on their mobile browser and doesn't actually take them directly through to their Facebook app to kind of um, authorize their login there, at least this is okay because we're okay with them temporarily leaving this page, right? The live webinar hasn't started yet. And so if they wanna opt in real quick, then we can do that. And then they'll be redirected to the live webinar. And for this, typically we see about a 25% opt-in rate as well for mobile same thing so that we can capture 25% on top of the 25 to 40% we've already captured. Now in the live webinar, what we do is we also have a chat widget 
that will just be on desktop for Messenger at least. So let me say Messenger. Might not have enough room here, but you guys kind of get the idea here. On desktop, you want it to be on Messenger because it's going to be an easy opt-in. On mobile, I would actually recommend looking at another platform that does a website bot so that that way people can easily talk to it without leaving the page, right? Because that's one of the most important things to understand. The opt-in, at least towards the end of 2019 here, is not going to be the best experience on mobile. And so if you can find another platform to help people out here on mobile, opt them in, answer their questions, and close them on whatever product you're promoting here in the webinar, then that's going to be ideal. If not, you can totally test out the chat widget on mobile and see if it works for you. Just keep in mind you want to tell people how to open it, how to close it, what they're going to get, and just really make instructions clear for them. Finally, on the replay, we're actually going to do very similar strategy here because ultimately it's the same thing. It's just maybe not live or people just don't think it's live. So we've got our messenger one and then our mobile one as well. And the whole point of opting people in in as many places as we can is because once they're already opted in, then we can eventually follow up with uh, post webinar follow up with things like, hey, here's your discount or here's the product that you're interested in. Or if this is for customers, then maybe you're upselling them or just helping them have a good experience with whatever you were teaching in the webinar. So for the follow up, lastly, I want to mention that this can contain up to six messages before it becomes a little bit annoying for users. And those six messages can be spread over whatever time frame you want. Just keep in mind that come January 15th of 2020, there are going to be some new policies in place that you want to read up on. You can easily Google that. Just look up January 15th messenger updates. And those updates are going to restrict you from sending out messages on certain time periods to your users that are promotional, that are leading to a sale. So just keep that in mind because these six messages can be sent whenever, but you may need to pay for some of them depending on when your users last talk to your bot. And from there, typically we see a two to three times increase in the conversion rate that our clients are seeing in their email follow-up, which is really exciting. One of the main motivations, obviously, to put this whole thing together and not only give your users a better experience, but also increase your conversions, the number of customers you have, and ultimately allow that to continue to increase and scale your business. So I'm going to write two to three times conversions or CVR. And that is going to be how you implement a chatbot into your webinar strategy. I hope this is helpful for you and that you can implement this.